Harry's never-ending exploitation of his mother's death is an outrage, grotesque and obscene. It takes away from the memory of her in life. He has disgraced her memory. What kind of son does a thing like that? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they bought the movie rights to Carly Fortune's Meet Me at the Lake, a book that sounds vaguely similar to their real lives, but without all the royalty stuff. The duo supposedly paid nearly $4 million for the rights, but notes that the book is about a couple who meet in their 30s and deals with themes of childhood trauma, including losing a parent in a car crash, mental health challenges, and postnatal depression. It also takes place in Toronto, a place where Prince Harry and Markle have been. Topics covered by the Duke in his memoir also appear in the novel. Therapist and relationship expert Sally Baker spoke to the Mirror on fears that plowing ahead with the project could have a detrimental impact on the couple's relationship with Prince William. Though such exploration of trauma could be seen as brave and inspirational, Baker fears that William would see it as an opportunistic move to reap cash from family trauma. She said it may also temporarily strain relations with his brother William, who's bound to think Harry's still mining the family narrative for his own sensational content. As Harry and Meghan are going to receive millions from Hollywood executives for a new documentary about Princess Diana's death, this news, however, has stirred a strong reaction within the Spencer family. They vehemently opposed Harry and Meghan's ongoing exploitation of Diana's tragic passing to garner attention. The Spencer family has endured enough defamation through depictions in series like Netflix as The Crown. It's time for the Spencer family to stand up against Henry's handler for what they are doing to her memory. Just because Henry is Diana's son doesn't give him carte blanche to sully her name anymore. Henry just doesn't realize he's doing more damage to his mother's memory. Specifically, Diana's sister, Sarah Spencer, finds Meghan's actions distasteful and disrespectful, accusing her of preventing Diana from resting in peace. According to the celebrity website, In the Crown, Spencer's character is portrayed negatively, portrayed as bossy and demanding. However, reality paints a different picture. Diana held the sister in high regard, with royal biographer Sarah Bradford attesting that Diana deeply admired Spencer. Reports suggest Diana and Sarah is one of her few confidants, describing her as the only person that she could ever trust. Following Diana's untimely passing, Lady Sarah Spencer actively contributed to upholding her sister's legacy. She played a pivotal role in the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fund, channeling millions towards various charitable causes. Lady Sarah Spencer maintained a close connection with Diana's children and remained committed to preserving her memory. At present, sources indicate that Sarah Spencer is contemplating using her authority over Diana's legacy as a means to discipline Prince Harry and halt the exploitation of Diana's name. The move aims to compel Harry to reconsider his involvement in Meghan's movie project. When her future husband introduced her to the Spencer clan, he talked about how similar she was to his mother. None of the Spencers could see it. In other words, they saw through Meghan very quickly. However, they wanted to support Harry, so they attended the wedding. It can be assumed that they were all thinking the same thing, this marriage isn't going to survive very long. The longer this facade goes on, the worse it will be, and the Spencer family all know this. Has that woman ever managed to pull the wool over Harry's droopy eyes on this one? It's quite obvious that neither has given even the slightest thought to William's feelings over the exploitation of his mother this way. Harry has acted as though Diana had only one child, him. He has never even thought to consult William over anything concerning Diana, even though he should have.